Hello and welcome to the lecture series on Indian economy for civil services. In the previous class, we have seen the concept of gross domestic product and we have also seen the idea of nominal GDP as well as real GDP. So in this class, I'll be talking about two important factors or two important things. One is called as the GDP at market price or the concept of market price as well as GDP at factor cost or the concept of factor cost. So let's get started. So uh, initially when I talked about GDP, I was talking about the definition of the same and it said that it is the market value of all final goods and services produced within the territory of a country in a given period of time, usually one calendar year or one financial year. Thereafter, we move to understand the concept of nominal GDP and real GDP. Now, when I'm talking about nominal GDP, I'm talking about the valuation of the current year's production at current year's prices. And when I'm talking about real GDP, I'm looking at the valuation of current year's production at a price which is of the base year. And usually whenever you select a base year, you select an, an year which is a normal year. That means everything is stable, political as well as economic stability is take, uh, taken into consideration while choosing the base year to calculate GDP or real GDP. So this is the major distinction between nominal GDP as well as real GDP. Today I'll be talking about a concept which is related to calculating GDP with respect to market prices as well as calculating GDP with respect to factor costs. And therefore we have to understand first what market prices means and then move towards understanding something called as factor costs. So what do you understand by market price? The market prices refers to the actual transacted price and it includes, I'm here incorporating the indirect taxes. Now there were a, a lot of indirect taxes, but now we have GST, but it includes customs duty, excise duty, sales tax, service tax, and all of that. So here market price particularly means the actual transacted price. Here I'm looking at the price, which also incorporates something called as indirect taxes. And whenever I'm looking at the calculation of GDP at market prices, it is given by the following formula. That means GDP at market price is equal to GDP at factor cost plus indirect taxes. I said I'm it includes indirect taxes and then subtract government grants or subsidies. So this is how you calculate GDP at market price. But now you do not know the concept of GDP at factor cost. So before understanding that, we, let us look at what does factor cost means and how do you calculate GDP at factor cost and then it will make more sense. So whenever I'm looking at factor cost, it refers to the actual cost of various factors of production and it includes government grants and subsidies, but it excludes indirect taxes. So here I am looking at the actual cost of factors of production. Now there are factors of land, labor, capital and entrepreneur and the underlying costs associated with the same with land it is rent with labor, labor it is wages, with capital it is interest and with respect to entrepreneur it is profit. In economics profit is denoted by pi and here I can alternatively use small r to denote the, uh, the the rate of interest to be paid. Yeah, So it is talking about factor cost is talking about the actual cost of various factors of production. And what is the actual cost? It is the summation of all of these if I'm using all of these factors and it includes Apart from this, in, it includes government grants and sub, sub, subsidies, but it excludes indirect taxes, which I talked about when I was talking about market price, indirect taxes, meaning thereby all the GST component. So it excludes that. And therefore, now let us look at how you calculate GDP. I hope the idea of factor cost is pretty much clear. Here I'm looking at cost. Here I'm looking at prices, actual transacted prices. Here I'm looking at actual cost of various factors of production. These are my four factors of production and the costs associated with the same are these rent wages, uh, uh, rate of interest and profits. So this is how you look at the concept of market prices, price here, factor cost. I'm talking about the costs associated with the same. And let us look at now the formula for calculating GDP at factor cost. So GDP at factor cost is equal to GDP at market price minus the indirect taxes because here I'm excluding the indirect taxes plus the subsidies that is government grants and subsidies. I'll be talking about uh, the government grants as well as subsidies in my upcoming lectures. 
or to be very precise you call them to be something called as transfer payments as well but i'll talk about that in in greater details uh, transfer payments effectively talk about pensions scholarships and all of that but in in a sense i'll cover everything that is government grants as well as subsidies as well as transfer payments in my upcoming lectures so this is how you look at the concept of market prices it is the actually transacted price here i'm looking at the actual cost of factors of production so this is the major distinction between the concept of market prices as well as factor cost now gdp is also calculated with the help of market prices and factor cost and therefore we have this gdp at market price and gdp at factor cost we have seen with the help of formulas how do you calculate that now gdp at factor cost includes or it 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 it, it incorporates gdp at market price minus the indirect it excludes the indirect taxes and includes the government grants and subsidies this is the formula i'm just rearranging the same when i'm calculating this but in the upcoming classes we will look at how do you calculate gdp and what are the different ways in which you can calculate the same so please stay tuned thank you